What is going on, Mag Neptune Troopers? Alpha Mag here, bringing you Pokemon Ruby Destiny, um, Reign of Legends. Um, the reason why I didn't want to do it with Xana was because of having all the audio problems. I was like, I just don't want to deal with it. And also, something happened with the save files and it got all messed up. Um, but anyways, this, this isn't going any better because my fourth time doing it. Last time, um, I got to talk to some, about to talk to someone and then it kind of like stopped. Like, I kept hitting speed up, but you could see the file was moving and everything. Um, but there was no dialogue and I couldn't move and I don't know, nothing was happening. Um, so, yeah. Let me just make sure I'm, uh, let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am recording. Sorry about that, guys. Um, there we go. I just don't want anything else bad to happen. Um, anyway, this is an alpha lock. Now, so let's, let's, let me go over the Nuzlocke rules and the alpha lock rules. And the Nuzlocke. First Pokemon you encounter in every grass you have to catch. If you run away or kill it, you can't catch anything else in that route. Even if you pass a route without catching anything, you cannot go back. So if I pass a route, I cannot go back and catch something if I didn't catch it the first time. If I didn't encounter anything the first time. It starts when you get Pokeballs, so I can go through as many patches of grass as I want, kill as many Pokemon, but until I get Pokeballs, it doesn't start. Um. If Pokemon's dead, it's con faint is considered dead. You have to put it in your box, like a death box where you title like death, dead Pokemon. Um, and you cannot use them unless they're eight gen players. You have to make name every Pokemon so you have a connection to it. And then the Alpha Lock rules are the thing that really makes an Alpha Lock is like because I want to, I do want to see the story. So if I lose the Nuzlocke, I can just do as regular LP the Pokemon. I can, I guess, pick whatever Pokemon I want. Um, to all my party that I that are dead or something or whatnot, and continue as a regular LP. Um, it will say like, um, like the titles make RG as like Ruby Destiny. Cause it's a really long title. It'll, and then like in the thumbnail, I guess or something will say like no luck end or you'll see it in the video. But it will continue until we beat the game as regular LP or as the Nuzlocke. And I have five lives, which means one life can save. If I give up a life, I can save one Pokemon. That, but it has to be right then and there. If a Pokemon is dead and I put it in the box, I cannot use the life to bring it back. I can only use the life right then and there, right after Pokemon dies, on my way to the Pokemon Center. If I decide to save it, I can just give up a life. Um, I will go over how many lives I have in each episode. So you guys know that I'm not just adding lives and stuff. I will go over so it is very consistent. So I have five lives. So anyway, let's get started. Welcome to Pokemon Ruby Destiny, Reign of Legends. Awesome, fast. I'm gonna go through this fast because I do kind of want to get. I, I hate, that's why I hate messing up because I'm trying to want to rush and get through everything. And even if I tell myself stop, I'm just too antsy, so I'm gonna speed up quite a bit. But I will go over the dialogue. Well, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates, and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? I am a male. My name is... My name is... What? My name is... My name is... No. There we go. So it's Mag. Okay, you're you're moving my hometown to Sunford. I get it now. Are you already? Very own adventure is about to unfold. You take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. I'm in a moving truck, moving truck, moving truck. Mag, we're here, honey. It must have been tiring riding home on our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Sunford Town. How do you like it? It is our new home. It's a quaint feeling, but it seems to be an easy place to live. Don't you agree? Don't you? No, you have your own room, let's go inside. But see, Mag, isn't it nice here too? The movers and do all the work and to clean up after themselves and whatnot. It's so convenient. Mag, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Bought me a clock. Oh, God, I'm moving into a wall. Um, let's see. Where I am, it is 513. Go. 
How do you like your new room? Everything's put away neatly. Finish everything. Take Pokemon to the convenient. Make sure everything's on your desk. And someone take the item out of here. The potion. Yeah, yeah. Talk to Kamaki, who is the female protagonist. No stop Jen. There's Kevin will be on. Kevin is our brother. He takes the spot of Norman. Um, Kevin has the sprite of Brendan, who is the male protagonist in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Um, he's a, yeah, he's a male protagonist. Um, Tamashi is the female protagonist. These, the two protagonists in this game, like me and then Tamashi, they look like P from Fire Rider, Fire Rider and Leaf Green, but they're a tiny bit different in their clothes. But anyways, we brought you the support from Snowsoft Jim. Oh, it's over. I thought Kevin was on, but we missed him. Alright, one of Dad lived, one of, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. Make sure you should go over and introduce yourself. I don't know who my dad is in this game, um, but Kevin is my brother, because I've talked to him before when I was in it for the first time. Um, oh, and you are, you're Meg, our next, new next door neighbor. We have a daughter about the same age. She wants to be friends with you. She looks nice. She can do Pokeball. Oh, you're all set, huh? Hey, this is a girl's room, you know. Oh, so you're Meg? So your move was today. Oh, I'm sorry for shouting at you like that. I'm Tamaki. Glad to meet you. I've heard about you from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice and mad. We could be friends. Uh, it's not too late to met you. Yeah, well, we want a battle? Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to help Dad catch wild Pokemon. I'll catch you later. Yep, too bad I have to go save his ass. Okay, 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 okay. I can hear someone shouting down the road, down there. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody go help him. Help me. Up over here, please help me in my bag, there are Pokeballs. Um, I'm going to get Trico, and I will name him Ueki when the time comes, because of the anime Law of Ueki. Those of you who do not know, it is a very good anime. Um, it's kind of exaggerated in the sense that these higher beings come down, and in order to decide who their next ruler will be, like, it'll be amongst them, but they take humans, take part in these, like, duels, I guess, and they give them a power, that they can pick their power. It's like, the power to turn, like, these into bombs, towers into, like, metal stuff, stuff like that um i guess the overpower ability if i had to think of one would be like the power to turn like imagination into reality that might be a power i'm not sure i can't remember it was a long time ago when i saw it but um main character Uraki's power he chose is the power ability to turn trash into trees so it's like he has a gum wrapper and all the trash in his hand he says the power to turn trash into trash into trees and like branches come and they like attack people and stuff cool go trico it is a very good anime, you know. He's a very lovable main character, and I think you guys would like it. Oh, anyway, Hound. Yeah, so, um, not this Sunday showdown, but the Sunday showdown after will be an update to see what's going to happen with my channel, because I'm going to college in two days, and, yeah, just, uh, see if the schedule will change, if I will con still upload two episodes, two, like, two LPs. Well, an LP and show it. Little, 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 Sunday showdown. What will happen? Um, so it will not be this one, but the one after, I believe. Anyway, uh, or I might just do it during the sometime next week. I guess a special episode. I'm not sure. But anyway, I was in the tall grass studying Pokemon, and I was jump. You said me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Mag. This is not the place to chat. So let's go to my lab, okay? So Mag, I've heard so much about you from your brother. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way. By the way, you pulled off nicely, huh? You're Kevin's brother and stuff, he's good. Thanks for asking me, I let you have a Pokemon you used earlier. I received that tree. So, the tree was always my favorite. I think only one time I chose Mudkip, and I think it was to do something different. But, Trico was always my favorite. I always forget that you can do Lola King. Ueki. If you, that's why I do uh, Ueki's name, so you can turn trash into tree. Grass, 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 grass. Anyway, I've always liked grass starters. I don't know why. I just do. Bulbasaur is my favorite from that gen. And three, no, no. So that was Totodile from Gen two. Then Trico. Well, I like Chinchar because a monkey, and then I like Oshawott. But now I like Chespin. So more grass than anything. But yeah. Anyway, if you look at the Pokemon game experience and make a good trainer, my kids out on past path catching Pokemon. So can I ask Blue Tell to come back? I have something for the two of you. Great. You should not, be, you should not have, ha be having any trouble getting there. Be careful. So I'm going to go speed up. Just, uh, I'm not going to get to Maid this episode. I'll probably get to her next episode. But I will get to 
the town where my brother's gym is in this game. I will talk to him in the next episode. You guys can see him then. Um, but this Nuzlocke does not start until I get Pokeballs, um, which will be a little bit later. I think it's after I, I get to pass, pass, pass. Um, so yeah, it won't be quite some time. Um, but this is, this is where I think I messed up last time when he went to go talk. So we're doing much better than last time. But anyway, da 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 da. Who are you? Oh God, you're such a drag. Hmm, you look strong. Battle me then. And can this battle please not be a drag? Yeah, can you guys? I'm gonna try to do like rivals voice, like um, I guess the way they talk at the anime characters. Um, I'm going to recycle the line there for Sienna because I didn't finish Sienna, so the melee thing will be for the next one. But this guy struck me as someone like Shikamaru from Naruto, so it'd be like oh, such a drag. Okay, it's kind of like emo. Anyway. Level 2 Pidgey shouldn't be a problem. Just gonna pound it. Pound, pound, pound. No, and then it's a Ryolu. So, this guy's definitely the guy who gets, you know, from like, uh, I think it was from like, because he, he definitely does look like the guy from Pokemon, like the movie, like Miss Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Um, and the guy from, and from, and his, because the same guy from Diamond and Pearl, you see him, and I think he gives you a Lucario in that. No, he gives you a Ryolu. And I go to Ryolu, yeah. I grew to level 6. I learned Absorb, yay. Nice, nice work. Oh, I went to level 7. That's nice. I want to hear Chenner. I quit the Oh, you are strong. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Blitz, but I don't like to tell people my name. Such a drag. From this awesome person, you sure are strong. Fucking drag. People are stronger than they look. Well, I'll be leaving now because it's drag to talk to you, so good day. Get out of here. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to heal. I will just go to the next town. Took me a little bit in the first time I played to figure out where the hell they go. Just kind of walking in circles. But this alpha lock, if you will, will not begin until I uh, we get Pokeballs. Once we get Pokeballs, wherever we are, we'll begin. Actually, I'll wait till we get Pokeballs and then we get to our hometown. Then I'll start it. But, um,. This is, I can't wait to get here to encounter stuff, because there's seals, rolls, etc. Um, but anyway guys, this is where I'm ending the episode off. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this alpha lock I'm doing. Um, I hope I hope I can get everything. I know I say this every week, but I hope I can get the upload constant and good. I hope I can fix the problems and whatnot. And I hope you guys have a magnificent day. I'll see you guys in the next up upload.